Chapter 15 The Anthropocene Now, finally, we have arrived at our beloved present. A time where you and I inhale oxygen, eat food and drink water, only to experience the happenings of the world for an extremely brief moment. Nevertheless, you are alive and part of the beginning of a new era in the life of the universe. The Anthropocene. The word is derived from the Greek word for human and is named so because it is a point in time that reflects the huge influence we Homo sapiens have on the planet. This unofficial geological time period began arguably with the Industrial Revolution but has taken off into hyperspeed recently in the 1900s. Plagued with wars, oppression and colonialism, our start has been anything but strong. However, momentary bliss came in the form of the end of colonialism and great strides in technology and understanding the universe. We discovered the existence and took a picture of a black hole, learnt to harness the energy between atoms, invented a medium for the free flowing of information and also created a device that fits into your pocket with more computational power than what put man on the moon, the smartphone. But, like a drug addict suffering a relapse, mounting nationalism led to global chaos in the mid-20th century through the world wars. The invention of the atomic bomb represented a momentous occasion in the story of the Homo sapien for two reasons. One, for the first time, our species has the power to destroy not only ourselves, but also the entirety of life on planet Earth. And two, Big History Lesson 7. The invention of the atomic bomb is one of the best examples to understand the difference between what is possible and what is impossible. Less than two decades before the first nuclear bomb, the greatest intellectuals on the planet had claimed it to be an impossibility. Robert Millikan, a Nobel Prize winner in physics, said in 1928, there is no likelihood man can ever tap the power of the atom. Even the genius of Einstein said, there is not the slightest indication that it will ever be obtainable. But the fact remains, just 11 years later, the first humans witnessed the detonation of the first nuclear bomb. Now, these guys had pretty good reason to believe what they were saying. Without going into much detail, the neutron, a vital component in the release of nuclear energy, at the time had not yet been discovered. But when that one missing piece was solved, it changed the course of history. This story shines a light on a very simple fact of life. What is possible or impossible is only a function of the knowledge you possess at any given moment. Anyway, after the horrors of the wars, the world as a whole has been heading in the right direction. Global conflicts have been at an all-time low. More people die from eating too much than from human conflict. And technologies like the internet have been made accessible to billions. The internet has enabled every single human to have more information at their disposal than kings and queens had in their entire lifetimes. Even the President of the United States had less to work with only 20 years ago. However, the most important effect of the internet is undoubtedly on collective learning. We now live in a truly unified world where connectivity between potential innovators has probably gotten as good as it can get. Collective learning has also gotten a huge boost through the dramatic increase in population. We are now quickly approaching the 8 billion mark, out of which just above half are connected to the internet. Within the next decade, it is highly likely that the majority of the world will be online and with more than 7 billion potential innovators connected, who knows what can happen? In addition, advancements in medicine and other technologies have moved more people out of extreme poverty and into the middle classes than ever before. 
If you have a fridge, a light, basic medicine, and the internet, you are currently living a better lifestyle than kings lived only a century ago. Big History Lesson 8 Here lies another piece of evidence that shines a light on a profound human characteristic – the fear of change. It is not unusual for people to get attached to the comfort of how things are and have been in the past. Even if you might think you embrace change, given enough time, you too will succumb to this innate fear. The existence of generation gaps is proof of it. The only evidence between your parents and you is the culture you grew up with, but still it ignites conflict. For example, with the widespread usage of smartphones, older people are very prone to assuming that it's causing more harm than good. More often than not, just because they did not grow up with it. Hell, when cars were invented, people said it was too unnatural. They thought by giving up horses, we would lose our connection with the earth. But it is important for everyone to understand this is a result not of older people not liking or not caring, but because the idea that change is harmful is genetically encoded into every single one of us. Since the emergence of humans millions of years ago, any change in the environment through generations was more likely to be bad than good. An ice age, new disease, volcanoes, new predators, and many other reasons made this true. But the Anthropocene marks the first time in human existence that change in the next generation is more likely to be better than worse. Especially now with technological progress happening every year, it is almost certain that the life of the next generation will be better than the last. Our biology is incapable of performing a software update to adjust for this, so we result with the fear of change. Understanding this will spare a lot of us many meaningless conflicts with the people we love, and allow us to enjoy the time we have to its maximum. But of course, the 21st century has certainly not been all fun and games. New exponential technologies like big data has enabled any individual to manipulate the masses. The use of algorithms to target specific people with ad campaigns during Brexit and the Trump presidency is ample proof of this. More people than ever before are living mundane lives just to survive each month. The gap between the wealthy few and everyone below is growing incredibly large. And also, the world is moving towards a very unsustainable lifestyle in terms of energy consumption. Historically, similar problems have triggered violence, but due to the addition of new variables, like the rising rate of technological progress, all we know for certain about the future is that it will look radically different. The biggest threat our species face is the introduction of global problems. Nuclear war, climate change, and technological disruption. No one country can single-handedly solve any of these issues, no matter how strong. It seems the only way to solve these problems is through global cooperation. But this too is furthest from what is happening right now. If we somehow manage to make it through the 21st century bottleneck, our population will stabilize with an increasing number of educated potential innovators. This makes it our duty as a generation to simply survive without making any irreversible mistakes. If we succeed, the potential is literally infinite for the human species.